Hey guys, Kevin here, and there has been very, very big news in the WordPress community. WordPress.com, around 19 hours ago it says, there was an announcement by Mark Armstrong who says that WordPress.com business now supports plugins and themes. Now this refers to their business hosting plan. And going by prices in the UK, you've got the free account, you've got the personal at £2.50, you've got the premium at £7.08, bizarre price, and then you've got business at £20.83, another bizarre price. Um, the business plan at £20.83, and I believe it's around the $20 mark, uh, you know, around the world, and now supports third-party plugins and third-party third themes. And this is a huge, huge announcement. What it means now is if you're, you know, hosting with WordPress.com, you can now use any of the plugins that are found on WordPress.org. This is this is huge. I really do think this is huge. Um, it's, a, it's a massive development, and I think it's going to redefine the way that we look at WordPress.com and WordPress.org. Throughout the years, most people have said that, you know, if you've ever read one of those comparison articles where it says WordPress.org versus WordPress.com, the self-hosted version is normally what most people recommend because they say that, the WordPress.com hosted version is for beginners. It's limited. There's only so many things you can do with it. You can't use plugins or you could only use, I think it was approved plugins and plugins from Automatic. Um, and over the last year or so, I believe that they, they introduced third-party themes and other themes and things like that. But this is, a, this is a massive development and it's really going to change how people view WordPress.com. I, I think it's wrong to say now that WordPress.com is only for beginners because... The business hosted plan, you know, it allows a custom domain name, unlimited premium themes, unlimited storage space. You can display your own advertisements, video press support. Um, you don't have to even have the WordPress.com uh, branding, Google Analytics support. Now, it, the, the announcement is quite vague in a couple of ways. It doesn't say, well, it doesn't say, for example, whether you can upgrade within the plugin. So, for example, um, Say you've got a freemium version of a plugin, say the free version is on WordPress.org. It doesn't say whether within that plugin you can upgrade to the premium version or whether um, you know that's allowed or not because it doesn't say whether you get FTP access um, because at this time, when it refers to third-party plugins, it's referring to the plugins on WordPress.org, which means that, for example, myself, I, I use a few plugins from Code Canyon. I'm not sure whether those plugins would be allowed. Um, even third-party premium plugins, say for example Gravity Forms, that doesn't have a presence on WordPress.org. Um, it doesn't look like those plugins are currently supported. I don't believe so. Now, in the past, they've always said that you know this was from a security point of view and things like that. Um, but I think they've recognised that in order to expand WordPress.com, um, or if <laughs> I guess if if you're being cynical or or even just be you know just being honest about it, I think they've looked at how profitable the the managed WordPress hosting space is now. There's a lot of companies making a huge amount of money, and I believe Automatic are trying to move into that area. And quite frankly, if they expand this functionality a little bit further, and they give you FTP access and they, and they allow you to install plugins outside of WordPress.org, then it's going to make WordPress.com a very attractive service for most WordPress users. You know, unlimited storage, you're hosted on very fast servers that are very secure. And, you know, £20 a month is very, very cheap for hosting if you're hosting on WordPress.com on their servers. And I don't know, I mean, there are cheaper alternatives, of course, but that's very cheap, in my opinion. It's much cheaper than what you'll find in the managed WordPress hosting space. So, that, as I said, there's a few things that we're not sure of yet. Firstly is, um, you know, whether you get FTP access. I don't believe you do. I don't believe that they're supporting third-party plugins from, as I said, Gravity Forms, Code Canyon, etc. By this point as well, I'm not sure how this is going to change the community. It's going to attract a lot of developers, um, more developers to develop plugins for WordPress.org. That's the way I view it just now. You know, if... You know, if you thought that you'd get a certain amount of reach from WordPress.org and um, by, you know, uploading it to, for self-hosted versions of WordPress, then all of a sudden you've got all these WordPress.com users that can use your plugin now as well. And, you know, this should mean more traffic 
should mean more opportunities. But again, I'm not sure how, you know, plugins that use the freemium model, plugins that require people to upgrade, you know, for them to make money. I'm not sure how that's going to work. But regardless, I think this is a big development. And it wouldn't surprise me if down the line they make some other tweaks to this to, you know, accommodate users and give them more features. Please let me know what you guys think about this. But for me, I think this could be quite a big development in the WordPress community. Maybe a few months till we see how this um, affects people. But, you know, if I didn't use a couple of third-party plugins, you know, outside of WordPress.org, then I'd be very tempted to move to WordPress.com. I really would. And that's not something I ever thought I would say. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is quite interesting, the way that they're going with this. Without a doubt, I think they're trying to get into the managed WordPress hosting space and take away a lot of customers that they don't, you know, they only use plugins from WordPress.org. And down the line, we might see them even expand further um, outside of that. Let me know what you, what you guys think about that. I'll leave a link to the official announcement and you can check it out yourself. As I said, it's a little bit vague at this point, what you get and what you don't. But um, this is very interesting news. So please do leave a comment below and let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.